Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Falls Cable Access Spectrum Channel 14. We are coming to you from Menominee Falls High School on the soccer pitch for a non-conference girls matchup tonight between the visiting DC Everest and your Menominee Falls Phoenix. Which are the starters here in just a moment. First for the DC Everest Evergreens. Starting in goal, zero, McKenna Campman. Number two, Katie Schultz. Number six, Kirsten Hall. Number eight, Ruby Kowal. Number nine, Ava Hopper. Number 10, Grace Sanquist. Number 14, Ari Mahomes. Number 15, Chi Zong Lo. Number 16, Zong Xia Lo. Number 18, Kylie Cook. And number 25, Aubrey Legal. The Evergreens are coached by head coach, Mr. Lucas Kalross. His assistants are Josh Roloff, Lauren Langenbaum, and Jordan Langenbaum. And now the starting lineup for the Menominee Falls Phoenix. Starting in goal, number one, Katie Lockwood. Number seven, Lauren Parker. Number eight, Grace Grant. Number 11, Sydney Redding. Number 12, Seda Siebert. Number 14, Kaylee Fricky. Number 15, Claire Wattenbach. Number 16, Ava Sardina. Number 19, Samara Aurora. Number 20, Sydney Bant. And number 21, Mia D'Amato. Menominee Falls is coached by head coach, Mr. Scott Stein. Assistant coaches, Jennifer Lodge and Ellie Waleka. Menominee Falls comes in tonight's match without one of their key players, Claire Shea, number 18. She has a bit of a hamstring issue, so she has missed the last game in this one. So Menominee Falls will be without their top scorer, their top offensive threat. DC Everest making the trek down here to Menominee Falls High School for tonight's match. And we are underway. Sydney Redding looking for a little bit of help. Finds Claire Wantenbach. That gets pushed out of bounds. Maybe Menominee Falls throw in. delay here we retrieve the ball no ball boys tonight looks like so look for the fans to help out maybe a little bit here and try to keep the open spot in the field under control how many falls comes into tonight's match with a good start to the season again one of their major offensive players will be missing tonight so we'll see what they're able to do with it Sumar Aurora taking it on the outside here for the Phoenix looking for the opportunity nice little touch to herself gets to the end line that is out. Let's see. And they are giving it to the falls for a corner kick on that one. Corner kick, Maya D'Amato. Mia D'Amato takes the corner. Menominee I mean, Falls likes to play the short game. Centered in, but Everest able to clear. Now here comes Everest on their first attack. Nice through ball from Eva Hopper to Grace Sanquist. Sanquist first shot and goal for the Evergreens. Quick 1-0 lead for DC Everest. Only a little over a minute and a half gone here in the first half. Goal oh, by DC Everest, DC Everest. One, Menominee Falls, zero. Now he falls looking to regroup here. Quick strike there from the Evergreens. Sardina pushes that one out of bounds. We DC Everest throw in. Redding looking to push that up. Aurora trying to find space, but that one skirts between the defenders. See if Aurora can track it down here, but no, DC Everest able to push that to the sideline. Lauren Parker able to clear that one. Sydney Van touches the bank. 
You know, he falls pushes forward, but DC Everett responds right away. Another little push through. Redding able to cut that one off though. D'Amato tries to get that one up to Aurora, but Aubrey Legal able to get in the way of that pass and push it back in the other direction for her team. Kylie Cook tried to find somebody, but uh, nobody took the lead and headed through, so goal kick there by Lockwood, and we'll try this again. Again, nobody home there from the DC Everest Pass. Redding finds Aurora to Siebert. Siebert's pass, though, cut off. Pant now to D'Amato. D'Amato tries to push this one. Just a little bit of a touch on one of the DC Everest players and bounces clean. DC Everest clears to the side, but... Aurora puts a bit of a charge in that one, but right at the keeper for DC Everest. Kenna Campman. Kenna Campman. And we're back in the midfield game. Siebert takes control after that punt. Pushes it forward to Grace Grant. Grant trying to find space down the far corner. Turns the corner a little bit, but finds the end line. Campman set to take the goal kick for the Evergreens. Side out throwing from an Ebony Falls. That one slips through. Evergreen's defense able to pick it up. But Molly Band gets a foot up, knocks that one down. Good speed on the outside there by Eva Hopper. Hopper puts her foot into that one, takes a chip out of the Nowany Falls goalkeeper and puts another one in at 34-36 remaining in the first half. Their score now, oh, DC Everest nine. two, Menominee Falls oh, zero. Hopper. DC Everest two, Menominee Falls zero. Talk to him then. Oh, he turned off his mic, I think. Stop. He's, he's talking to the ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now when he falls, trying to get things back under control here as they find themselves in a 2 nil hole early on. Now when he falls, throw in, set to come here. Sadie Siebert takes the throw, looking for any open spots, but unable to find them. Touched ahead by Zhang Zilo. Hopper puts her foot in that one and tries to feed it ahead to Sanquist, but Sanquist runs out of spaces. Now when he falls, his keeper takes control of that one. <clears throat> Aurora, slight out of bounds touch. And a BC Everest throw in. Substitution. 
please. Number 17, Olivia Gertz. Olivia Gertz into the Replacing match legal. for the Evergreens. You may hear our field announcer, Mr. Jerry Mislang, also calling out the substitutions and events that happen. The PA box. But you are tuned in to Falls Cable Access, Spectrum Channel 14. I'm Marlon Hestetune. This is non-conference girls soccer at Menominee Falls High School between the visiting D.C. Everest Evergreens and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. Evergreens have jumped on a couple of quick opportunities to find themselves. Right the ship and pull themselves back into this one. Not let it get too, any more out of hand. Not quite eight minutes gone here in the first half. I know where you are. You text. She asked me to call. Alisinski trying to make a play on the outside. That one. But she gets it right back. Works her way down into the corner looking for something open in the cross. That creates some opportunity. Nice turn there by Sensky. Big, oh, big foot there by Siebert. Saved by McKenna Campman. Campman for DC Everest with the save. Nice extension there. That one gets pushed out of bounds. Another Menominee Falls throw in. Claire Wattenbach taking the throw for the Phoenix. Siebert fighting for position there. Sent out of bounds again. We another one. How many falls throw in? Watt back to throw again. Again into Siebert. Trying to find position. Siebert back to put one back and one back. That one squirts up the side of her foot. Across the end line. It will be goal Ever kick for DC Everest. Number 26, Julia Himmauer, and 27, Annie Kobacho. Campman set to take the goal kick here for DC Everest. <laughs> DC Everest able to run that one down, but. Sydney Bant pushes it back in the other direction. D'Amato ahead to Aurora. Aurora trying to turn this one. Off the DC Everest defender. It'll be a Manamani false corner kick. Corner kick. Mia D'Amato. Aurora with a short kick into D'Amato. D'Amato centers that one. Oh, off the, off the crossbar. Back of the crossbar. Unlucky there. Back in for the Evergreens, number 25, Bobby Legal. Legal re-entering for the Evergreens. Campman with another goal kick. That one clears everybody. It'll be Manamani Falls throw. Wattenbach set to throwing in. Kenzie Allen entering the match for Manamani Falls. And for Menominee Falls, number three, Mackenzie Allen. Replacing Fricky. Wattenbach throws in, again, trying to find Siebert. Motto tracks down that attempted clear. Wattenbach back to Devon Motto with a nice move there to find herself a little bit of space. Rolls it back to Bant. Bant clears herself and now switches fields. Bring Shane in on the far outside. That one rolled into the keeper by Eva Sardina. Short punt off the foot of Campman. Grace Grant fights for that one and pushes it back to where the Menominee falls. Phoenix can control it.
Chant with the ball back in the center. She pushes one forward. Little too hard for Aurora to get to. Last touch by the Phoenix, so it'll be a goal kick for the Evergreens. Now we fall starting to take a little bit of control here and keep the ball on their half. After a couple of well-placed passes, set free a DC Everest offensive player and counted for the two quick goals by the Evergreens. Aurora steps up on that, another short kick. Allen gets knocked down from behind, but no call from the official. If you ever throw in off there. <clears throat> now he falls, able to head that off and push to the far sideline. Feel the pressure seems to be ramping up a little bit here by the falls. Fan does a nice job controlling that one to Siebert. Siebert back to D'Amato. D'Amato resets Lauren Parker and Parker pushes it ahead to Aurora. Aurora with control. Aurora tries to find Siebert but that gets cut off by Lowe. Wattenbach pushes it back in. Back out to midfield. And when he falls, kind of stay active. Parker unable to get to that one. Cleared out by Ruby Cole for the Evergreens. We went out when he falls, throw in Claire Wattenbach gets to take. Oh, Aurora just misses getting enough on that. But D'Amato tracks down the clear. D'Amato playing a very active mid right now for Menominee Falls. Redding pushes it over to Sardina. Sardina working the sideline. She gets it ahead. Kenzie Allen. Trying to change fields, unfortunately unable to, but Parker is able to send that one in. Kata Siebert trying to find the ball. Not quite. That one pushes out of bounds across the end line. And another goal kick for the Evergreens. In for the Evergreens, number 11, Kristen Rohde. And number 16, Song Xia. Throw in coming here for DC Everest. Mia D'Amato getting a nice position, able to force that one back out. Reset with another throw. Motto steps in front, allowing Bant to take it. Kenzie Allen pushes it ahead to Seymour Aurora, but when finds the sideline, it'll be DC Everest throw in. Fifteen minutes gone here in the first half with your score DC Everest two, Menominee Falls zero. Two quick goals in the first six minutes or so for the Evergreens. It's found Menominee Falls in a hole, but Menominee Falls has done a nice job of controlling the field and keeping the ball primarily on their offensive side. Just make it up. So I guess all you're doing is just having. Mia D'Amato cuts that one off nicely. She's been very active in this middle part of this half. Back to Bant. Bant under some pressure there. From I don't have number 11 on my roster sheet, unfortunately. Rita Siebert tries to push that one to the far post. Just misses a little bit wide. Yeah, 
checking in for the Evergreen Good, Temple Five. McKenna Cook. McKenna Cook checking in for the Evergreens, number five. Uh, tonight is also staff appreciation night, which you'll be introduced at halftime. We'll have you line up right before half. If you have not signed in with Chris Wentworth, you'll be heading in front of the home stand. You can move down there, maybe. And uh, you can sign in with Chris, and we'll I'll read your names off at halftime. Thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate it. Set here for another PC Everest goal kick. Switching the strategy a bit, letting a defensive player take it rather than the keeper. That one a little tall for Seymour Aurora, but no harm as it bounces over her head and finds the sideline. Wattenbach with the throw in. Kenzie Allen takes it but loses it out wide a little bit. They will award that one to DC Everest for the throw. Vint has a nice step there to snuff that one out, but down DC Everest for the first time in a while, getting back on the Menominee Falls side. Kylie Cook trying to push it forward. DC Everest forwards looking for that opportunity to turn past her defender, but nice job by Sydney Redding. Kenzie Allen tried to go quick, almost had it there, but they were able to push it out bounds, forcing the throw in for Menominee Falls, and now Sydney Bant drops it over everybody's head. Tracked down by Katie Schultz. And last touch by Allen, so another goal kick for the Checking Evergreens. Checking from Menominee Falls, number 10, Ella Bill. Ella Bill checking in. Allen. Ella Bill checking in for the first time for Menominee Falls. She's going to slide back to defense and push Sydney Bant forward. Scratch that Lauren Parker sliding up forward. Bant will stay in that mid defensive. Say to Siebert. Mike Parker, Parker is not able to control it quite enough. Was chased down and shot forward by Aubrey Legal, but Sydney Bant able to grab that and tag it down and push it back down into the Falls offensive side. Parker with a nice cross. Aurora trying to get there. Aurora keeps it in. Unfortunately, momentum carries her over now. Ari Mahone up ahead. I don't have 22 on my roster either. Is unable to control, but last touch by Menominee Falls. Mahomes with the throw in. Wattenbach sends it back. Maybe D'Amato comes up with it. D'Amato lobs it forward to Grace Grant, see if Grant can get there. The keeper comes out. Aurora and Grace Grant tracking that one down together. There's Aurora on the sideline. Aurora flips it up and over. Grant not quite able to get there. But Sydney Bant in the scrum for it. Riding with a nice job tracking that down. Pushes it up to Aurora. Aurora Siebert, Siebert with the give to Grant, and Grant is on sides. Let's see what she can do with this. Gets tracked down. Puts that one right into the keeper's hands. Saved by McKenna Cameron. That was a nice opportunity, though, for the Phoenix. Their first real scoring threat opportunity here. As they, again, continue to control this half. Fortunately, not on the scoreboard, but we'll see if they can rectify that one. Siebert pushing out wide. She's got Parker up in front of her. She taps it ahead to Parker. Parker looking for somebody in the middle. Tries to tap it into Grant. Grant, unfortunately, not able to get there. But D'Amato, again, another nice job of controlling that mid by D'Amato. She tracks it down. Not quite able to get into Parker's feet. 
riding up ahead to Seabird. Seabird Art Y to Aurora. Keep it in. Nice job by Samar. Samar to Seabird. Nice little give and go. Grant with the defender and back pressure. Seabird again. Seabird takes a swing. Not a bad idea. Nothing wrong with taking the shot when you have that opportunity. Sydney Bant aggressively pushing forward. Sydney Bant with the shot. That, oh! Saved by McKenna Catman. Catman just getting a glove on that one. Pushes Bant's shot wide. Still 2 0, DC Everest. It just feels like there's one coming here for the Phoenix. Wattenbach sends it in. D'Amato. Finds Grant, Grant centers it up. Nobody home, unfortunately, but that will be a corner kick for the Phoenix. Corner kick, Maya D'Amato. Maya D'Amato to take the corner kick. Nobody's short, so it looks like they're gonna actually try to push one in here. We'll see what they end up doing. Here goes D'Amato. Nice ball up high. Now he falls, can't get there, and it bounces around a little bit. Parker tries to track it down and turn out. She can't do it. Right. Parker. Sydney Bant with another big shot. Muck Kenna Campman. Off the hands. Little bit of a hand adjustment there by Siebert. Our official caught it. So that'll be a free kick here for DC Everest. Been a pretty clean game so far. I think that might be the first one. So Wattenbach had had enough of that. She sends that one aggressively down. Ella Bill looks to clear that one. Aurora takes it off the sideline. Bant cuts off the clear, looking for a little help. Pushes it ahead to Grant. No flag, but they might have eventually called her off for that one as she appeared to have a step on the defender. Just under 15 minutes here to go in, in the first half. Number eight, Ruby Cole. Number 15, she's on low. Number 16, Don Chilo. They're saying just under 15 minutes to go here in the first half. Their score is DC Everest 2, Menominee Falls 0. Oh, there's a little bit of trouble. Touch goes in DC Everest's favor, but no one's able to catch up to it. It will be a Menominee Falls throw in for Claire Wattenbach. You're watching Falls Cable Access Channel 4, Spectrum Channel 14. You're joining us live on YouTube tonight. If you are, welcome. Thanks for coming in. We are at Menominee Falls High School for a non-conference girls matchup in the visiting DC Everest Evergreens and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. Another sub coming back in. Back in for Number 10, Grace Number Sanquist. 10, Grace Sanquist. Comes in for DC Everest. We are set for the throw from Ari Mahomes. Mahomes finds Zong Chi Lo. Grace Grant is able to fight through on that one. Grant keeps pushing the ball down. Mahomes, though, able to slide it past her. Sydney Bantu also has been in a lot of places here tonight so far. Picks that one off. Jada Siebert sends it out wide. Lauren Parker unable to track that down. Motto to Siebert, out to Parker. Parker trying to get past the Everest defender. Finds Siebert, Siebert pushes it back to Parker on the outside and Parker centers that one. D'Amato again, another nice step. Take that one away from DC Everest.
Montana Catman. Catman slides a couple steps, makes that pickup, and we'll try this again. Riding able to shield the DCRS Defender just long enough so that Avis Sardina can pick that one, track it down. Lauren Parker has been active on that outside. So, had that one up ahead to say to Siebert. Siebert tries to get that to Grace Grant. And that will slide out. Should be a corner kick. Oh, they called it that way. model coming down to take this one. It's been how many falls will set up its next. Corner kick, Maya Damato. Set to, set to swing. Here's the kick. Nice ball in. Give me how many falls. Make anything. Oh, that was an opportunity missed. Saved by Maya Tomato. Tomato had a beautiful ball okay. right in front of the goal. And how many falls? Unable to get a, any solid contact on that. That will be him. And how many falls throw in? Or Wattenbach set to throw. Yeah. One gets pushed up ahead. Once again, we are not signed in for staff appreciation. Uh, please see manager Chris Wentworth. I will have you line up shortly for four half times. We have a long, expansive program. So once again, uh, if you haven't signed up, please uh, see Chris Wentworth. Thank you. Yeah. How many falls again? Trying to keep control. Sadie Siebert pushes that one. Last touch by the Phoenix. Holmes set to throw in for DC Everest. Multiple substitutions coming in for both clubs. Eva Hopper. Number 17, Olivia Gertz. From the Omni Falls, number 14, Kaylee Fricky. Siebert saves that one. Taps it back to Wattenbach. Wattenbach sends that forward. Tracked down though by the Evergreens. Mia D'Amato ranging through the middle. Back to Redding. Redding out wide to Sardina. Sardina pushing it up now the far sideline. Tries to get it ahead to Parker. That's tracked down by DCRS. Kaylee Fricky though does a nice job with her foot on it. I uh, apologize, Ella Bill Fricky chasing this one down with her number mate Mahomes. Siebert just misses a little bit on that one, pushes it wide right. DC Everest leading 2 0 here at Menominee Falls. Phoenix trying to claw back into this one. Just a little over eight minutes left. Will be another goal kick. Checking in from for DC Everest. Replacing Sardina. Fricky gets to that one first, but pushes it out of bounds. It will be DC throw in. DC Everest throw in. Ari Holmes set with the throw. Pushes ahead, Siebert cuts that off nicely. But Holmes able to recover and fight that one through on Siebert. And he falls though, maintaining possession. A little confusion there between 
Parker and Schultz. I wasn't sure who was going to go for it, so they both backed off and allowed DC Everest to clear, but Menominee Falls is taking the ball back and has it back under control. Seabird gets it to the feet of Bant. Bant back into the middle. A collision in the middle there between Mahomes and Grace Grant. Whistle goes DC Everest's way. Once again, those two quick strikes by DC Everest, but now when he falls, if you watched every part of this game, but those two goals, you would be sure that when he falls was in the lead. Because they have dominated possession on their half, the entire first half here. Bad luck, some good goalkeeping play, and it's kept them off the board. Six and a half minutes remaining in the first half. With your score, DC Everest two, and how many falls? Zero. Sydney Bant, Siebert. Siebert up ahead. Parker tracks it down. See if Parker can get that up into somebody. Grant pops that one up. Kind of Campman. Campman pushes it. And how many falls? We'll try the corner kick from the other side. Corner kick by D'Amato. D'Amato again to take the corner for Manamini Falls. Manamini Falls, no one else over there, so it's still not playing the two-player game tonight. Amato with, oh, another nice ball. Grant throws that one up. Campman able to track it down. Schultz put some pressure on that, so the pass is forced back to Sydney Redding. Watch Redding is able to get that ball back up again and forward. Please There's the offside the flag. We'll be asking you to line up for about a minute or so before the end of the half, and then we'll go from there. Thank you. Grace Grant, just a step too far. Probably not even a full step. But the offsides call uh, against Menominee Falls. Also, Jade Warren is here. Could you report to the press box, Jade Warren? It's the free kick from Everest. They are trying. Kenny Lockwood. Strong low with a long, long attempt there. Lockwood able to scoop that. Everest trying to make something happen here. Grace Janquist, who owns the first goal of the evening. She loses control and now he falls back on the attack. Grant taps it to Schultz. Or Tori Parker on the run. Parker centers that one up, but just over the head of Kaylee Fricky. Green substitutions number two, Kitty Schultz. Number 26, Julia Hamauer. And number 27, Annie Kobaka. DC ever set to take another goal kick here after those substitutions make their way onto the pitch. Just about to the three minute mark here in the first half. Ricky tapped that one ahead, I think, hoping Grace Grant would make the cut, but something was lost in the translation there. These Everest goalie controls. 
sends that one downfield. Siebert controlling the loose ball and now looking for a little bit of help. Lotto stops the forward momentum, bounces it off to the band. But Leave a hopper on the tech initially. Another long try there by Zhang Shilo. Hit that one with a bit of a knuckleball. So we'll mix our sports there. Grant control that. Oh, nice ball ahead to Fricky. Let's see if Fricky can beat Mahomes. Mahomes able to take it and start steering it to the sideline. Ball will stay with Menominee Falls. 14 on 14 there. Mahomes able to He was a little faster than Fricky was. Yeah, Demano pushes that one out of bounds. DC Everest coming up to throw in. Minute and a half to go here in the first half. Mahomes begin to take this through. Claire Wattenbach picks that up. Head to Siebert. Low hits it for DC Everest, but Redding able to send it back to the falls. Now Lauren Parker pops that one up and over to Grace Grant. Grant all alone. And there goes the flag. Grant hits it a little high. But one, minute, one minute left and a half. Late flag there by our sideline official, but probably the right call. It appeared Grant had a step on the last defender at that point in time when that ball came to her. So coming up to just about, just over 30 seconds remaining here in the half as DC Everest will attempt to throw this one down into the goal block one more time and see if they can make something happen. Say to Seabird heads the kick from Katie Schultz. Seabird able to track down and then pushes that one ahead. Lauren Parker probably not going to get there. 10, 9, 8, 7. Turn by six, Ruby Kowal for DC Everest. Four, three, and she pushes two, it forward and Menominee one. falls at the horn. And that's the end of the first half with the score. DC Everest 2, Menominee Falls 0. 40 minutes in the book. That's here here at Falls Cable X, the Spectrum Channel 14. Maybe live on YouTube tonight here at Menominee Falls High School. I'm Marlon Hestatoon, and you are watching Menominee Falls take on the visiting DC Everest Evergreens in this girls' non conference matchup. 2 0 at the half, and we will see you back here in about 10 minutes or so with the second half. Stick around for Teacher Appreciation Night tonight here at the game. Staff Appreciation Night. I don't have much of a script. Uh, it says, uh, thanks for coming out tonight, and they appreciate all you do. But the bottom line is, your educators, your role models, your mentors, your coaches, your advisors, and you're just plain good people. So let's have a nice hand for all of them before we bring them out. So I'm going to add lib on this a little bit, so you know how that goes. First two people, you got Dave Weber and Jamie Weber who are more famous as Ty's parents. Amanda Gilman. Dana Kopech. Cindy Kessler, and a guy who's on here twice, and he's not that special, Scott Eldridge. Ashley Bell. Long time gymnastics coach, a wonderful person, Tracy Howard. Hall of Famer, my neighbor, Ann Reese. <laughs> Jessica Hart. Melanie Bukowski. And Julie Eisenhower has been up here four times tonight. Uh, she brought students from her class, and she also reminded me I don't say Ellie Schumacher's name enough. So, Julie Eisenhower. Courtney Ziggelbauer. Noelle Lumley, M. 
Emily Lilligard, Beth Herman, Mangy Hangos, our undefeated head football coach, Bobby Regent Smith. Everybody likes them now, just wait till about October or so. Uh, Corrine Gagne, Angie Sardina, that name sounds familiar. Ben Siebert, been around forever. Brooke Jacoby, Sarah Strum, and Scotty Eldridge on here again. But last but not least, our butt kicking head baseball coach, Tim Gotzler, and his daughter. Once again, we want to thank all you for coming out here on a Friday night. The kids really appreciate it. Look at the smiles on their faces. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Menominee Falls Staff Appreciation Night 2023. And we are back. 40 minutes in the books, 40 minutes to go. DC Everest coming in for this non conference girls' varsity matchup between the home club of Menominee Falls. And DC Everett's jumped out to a quick 2 0 lead in the first half. And two nicely placed but just over the top long passes that allowed nice open runs right at the goalie. And after that, Menominee Falls controlled 80% of the possession the rest of the match. Let's see if Menominee Falls can find the back of the net here in this half. They definitely had some opportunities. A little bit of a collision there with Ella Bill for the Phoenix and Ava Hopper. No harm, no foul though, and DC Everett's the throw in. But now he falls able to clear it up ahead to Seda Siebert. Siebert looking to make an attack run here. She pushes it out wide to Lauren Parker. Parker not quite able to track it down. DC Everest though with the throw in. Parker gets herself in the way of that throw. Touches it up to Grant, Grant back to Parker. A little bit of an entanglement there. D'Amato continues her nice night in the middle, tracking that one down. Bill looking to push that one out of bounds. DC Everett is looking to hit another home run there on that one. With Grace Sanquist, she had one of the two goals in the first half, but Bill able to stay a step ahead of her and push that one out of bounds. Only giving up the throw in here for the Evergreens. Falls looking to turn this one over and send it back the other way. Sydney Redding pushes that one back a little bit. Another throw in for the Evergreens. Aren't able to find the loose ball. Get a nice step there. Oh, but turns to the sideline. Grant punches that one ahead. Siebert turns on the burners and tracks it down. Finds herself in the middle of the field. Siebert with a good punch there, but not quite enough in the, at the end. Very active night for DC Everest. Gold and McKenna Campman. Nice job there, DeMato to step in there. Play that one down to the ground, get under control. Lotto back to Redding. Redding to Bill. Bill up ahead. Ahead to Kate. Kaylee Fricky. Fricky loses control. Get pushed back by DC Everest in midfield. 
Fant trying to run that one down. Another long run here from the Evergreens. But not many falls, able to shut that one down. Pushes it back. Who scored their first goal? Was it number nine or number ten? Ten. Ask the parents. Who's ten? I think. Would you? No, no, just go ask. Who scored their first goal? Number nine or number ten? Thank you. 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 Thank DC Everest, but we are back underway here. Data Siebert and Sydney Bant. And pushes it back to Wattenbach, who ricochets that off a DC Everest player. Now he falls, we'll try again. Another well-placed pass there by DC Everest, giving their offense a chance to score that. But pushed a little bit wide there by number nine, Ava Hopper. And Sydney Redding looking to take, take the goal kick here for Menominee Falls. Parker and Grant trying to keep a track down, but. Eva Sardina pushes that one over the sideline for the DC Everest throw in. Maybe Cole playing a little solo game there. There's the ball in the corner, but not many falls able to answer and drive it out. Parker ahead to Grant. Grant. A little bit of space here. Just in the middle, DC Evers tracks it down. Siebert tries to get it back, but unable to. Long ahead ball there. Tracked down by Redding. Redding to Bill, and Bill sends it forward. For the offsides call. Now he falls tries to go fast and unfortunately unable to. Check in for Evergreens number 26, Julia Hamauer. Unable to get a decent play put together there and pushes it out of bounds. So it'll be a DC Everest throw in. Subbing in for DC Everest. Entering the match, I believe, for the first time. Number 26, Julia Hamauer. Everest works the ball down to the corner. See if they can find their way out. That gets centered and cleared by D'Amato. Saved by Kenny Lockwood. Another long shot there, I believe, by Zong Xielo. Correction, that was Shi Zong Lo. Forces corner Lockwood kick. to make the save. Grace Sandquist. Gives the set play here to DC Everest with the corner kick. Oh, a little bit of danger there. Kenny Lockwood. Lockwood didn't get a good grip on it. And Number nine, Ava Hopper, was right there. Luckily, Lockwood was able to fall on it and make it, get it into her hands and control it. Now here's Menominee Falls on a nice, nice punt by Lockwood. Bant pushes it back to Siebert. 
receiver with a bit of space here. Now see if she can make a run and make something happen. Kylie Cook stepping up to block that shot slash pass attempt there by Siebert. Another Menominee Falls opportunity here, looks like. Got a quick flag from the sideline official. Giving Menominee Falls a set play opportunity as D'Amato will look to push that one in. See if she can hover this one over the goal. She's put a couple nice balls from corner kicks in. Try to follow this one up. Mia D'Amato comes out high a little bit, and that one played out by DC Everest. Seward again with the ball right around the edge of the goal box. Oh, oh. Not many falls with an opportunity there. Parker was right there and DC Everest keeper Campman was unable to control that one, but fortunately for Menominee Falls, it went off Parker. Result is another DC Everest goal kick. Check in for the Evergreens, number 11, Kristen Rohde. Along with number 17, Olivia Gertz. And 27, Annie Kobaka. A few more substitutions there for DC Everest. Sarzina to Grant. Grant unable to get it though to anybody else's feet on the Phoenix side, so volleying it back and forth a little bit here. Wattenbach able to clear that ahead ball from the green, so now it's into Sydney Bant's feet. Bant ahead to Seaver. Nice ball there from Bant, but he's able to get there just a step ahead. Try that again. Bant pushes forward, steps between two defenders. Head to Grant. Grant back to D'Amato. D'Amato makes a move, finds a little more space. Tries to find Siebert on the outside, but that is cut off. And a bit of an entanglement there. Whistle goes in favor of DC Everest. Long fly from the Evergreens there, trying to set something up and get someone ahead. Second chance, but it finds the sideline, but I'm going to fall throw in. Phoenix substitution number two, Layla Schultz. Layla Schultz in for the Phoenix. Seward pushes that one ahead, but I don't think Melanie Falls, nope. Can't been able to clear her own box there. Replacing one box. Here comes the Evergreens as Redding tries to win this foot race. Pushes that one to the side. Back to Redding, gets it ahead to Grant. Back and forth play there as Phenomenal Falls tries to get something set up. Parker saves that one off the sideline. 
Sardina misses Siebert. Ball goes the other way for DC Everest, but Redding comes up to play stiff defense and D'Amato able to track down the errant, errant ball. Here comes Bant on the attack. Big leg from Sidney Bant. She can score from anywhere and almost does that one off the keeper's head. Oh! Unlucky for Menominee Falls. Bant Save with a, by the crossbar. Bant with a strong strike off the crossbar. Parker unable to follow up on it. Aggressive play there from Nominee Falls goalie. Just a half step too late, but they're able to regroup. And Large substitution coming here. Five from DC Everest. And A line change for DC Everest. Number five, Madeline Cook. 22, Lauren Medelsky. Seymour Aurora checking back in for Manawini Falls. Number 15, she's on low. Number 16, Longy Hall. Number 18, Kylie Cook. For Menominee Falls, number 19, Samir Aurora. Everest with a nice cross ball. Kenny Lockwood. A cross pass coming off the foot of number 12, Ellie. Elia Robley, trying to find Olivia Gertz, but unable to. more balance here in this half. Everest answering to the time of possession dominance that Menominee Falls showed in the first half. Redding cuts that one off. Takes a step past low. Touches it out wide to Sardina. Sardina pushing the ball ahead to Aurora. Siebert again, trying to find her way back to Aurora, but a little too strong. DC Everest throw in. You are watching Falls Cable Access Spectrum Channel 14. My name is Marlon Hestetun. We hope you're enjoying it tonight. This non-conference varsity girls soccer matchup between the visiting DC Everest Evergreens and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. If you're joining us live on YouTube, if you are, welcome. Parker using her body well there, gets the no call. Oh, Parker, strong shot, just wide. And from Madame Falls, number 21, Mia D'Amato. Mia D'Amato finds her way back in. Madame Falls corner kick. She's gotten a touch there by DC Everest's keeper. Low ball, but oh, nice touch. Bant. Bant tracks it down though. Keeps it alive for Menominee Falls. Redding finds that. Ahead to Sardina, ahead to Bant. Bant gets stripped by low. Blue ball for number 11. And track down number five, of course, two of the players who I don't have names for, I apologize. And how many falls comes up with the throw in here. Redding set to take the throw. Finds Bant. Touches back to Redding. Clears it ahead to Siebert. Seaver tries to switch fields a little bit to Parker, but gets picked up by Everest. Now 
be in number 94 throw in. All the way back in the corner. Sardina will be taking the throw. Sydney Band tracks back to help with that one. And we'll push it forward a little bit. Do that all again. Nice throw up to Aurora. Aurora steps through. Tricky, unable to get that one before it hits into a triangle of defenders, but Aurora picks it up and Minami Falls is back on the attack. See to see we're trying to make something happen here, but gets cut off. Ball pops free, scrambles around a little bit. Redding able to pick it up though. Little Schultz putting a strong shoulder forward there. Keep control of that. PC Everest sends it back. Tomato says, let's reset on their end, how about? Seward fighting with Legel. Legel pushes the ball to the sideline, doesn't quite make the, the line. Bant comes in, takes strong control, but ball pops wide. Here we go again, Aurora now. A little bit of room. Aurora's shot attempt gets snuffed out by Lowe. Redding looking to move it forward, and she does. Finding Sardina. D'Amato steps in front of that one and pushes the ball up the pitch. Well, there's Bant with a nice touch, a nice step through. Parker and Bant competing on the DC Everest. Nice job there by Sardina. Send it down in, see if you can cause a little, cause a little chaos. Get that one up in the air. Nice job by Redding, tracking that one down. Back up to Sardina. Sardina head to Siebert. See with the Fricky. Fricky out wide to Aurora. Nope, picked off. But that'll be a Manali false throw. Sydney Redding gives that one up to Sardina. Sardina making the throw. Siebert, nice, nice job competing for that. Fricky, nice job using your body to shield off the DC Everest defender. Fortunately, Aurora runs right into another defender and loses that one. Seymour trying to push. <clears throat> Does enough there to shorten that pass, allowing Redding to cut it off. Now Aurora ahead to Redding. Redding with a little bit of space. Looking for a little bit of help. She pushes that ahead to Parker. Parker can't quite fight through the defender. And that is scooped up by Campman. Campman with a nice, nice punt clearing midfield. But Menominee Falls tracks down the loose ball. Bant comes in like a thief in the night and takes that one away. That's, let's call it an interesting call by the official on that one. And then he falls offensive player and seemed to have cleared the defender and the defender knocks her down and the call goes the other way. Falls tries to go fast on that throw in. Unfortunately for them, a couple of subs need to come in. 
another near line change for the Evergreens and one sub for Menominee Falls. Pricky fighting in the middle there. And that one. Substitution for DC Everest. Number two, Katie Schultz. Number 10, Grace Sanquist. Number 20. Our field announcer giving us the latest. And number 27, Anna Klobacha. DC Everest subs. We are closing in on 15 minutes left here in tonight's match. DC Everest leading the home team 2-0. I am Marlon Hestatoon, and this is Falls Cable Access, back from Channel 14, or on our YouTube channel. Back in from Menominee Falls, number eight, Grace Grant. Thanks for joining us tonight. Been a very back and forth, and again, except for two strikes of lightning, with nice passes over the top that freed up a runner. It has been a very back and forth match with Menominee Falls controlling the majority of the, probably the time of possession here. A little less in the second half, definitely in the first half. Again, as I said earlier, one of those matches that if you watched everything but the two goals by Everest, you'd swear the Menominee Falls was in the lead. You see Everest getting the opportunity here with the corner kick. Corner kick, Grace Sanquist. Trying <clears throat> to get more of a direct shot there. Oh. Saved by Kitty Lockwood. Lockwood unable to come that, bring that one to a complete stop, but it gets cleared out. And how many falls lives to fight another day here with it. Here Lockwood's able to track that down and get her hands on it. Ending that little rally from DC Everest. Punched ahead, Redding trying to track that one down for the falls. And Sardina trying to fight their way out of that corner. Find Aurora, gets to D'Amato. D'Amato now over to Sardina. Sardina to Bant, getting near the middle. Back to Fricky. Fricky to Ella Bill. Bill with a nice step through. Just misses Sydney Bant's feet, but Kaylee Fricky able to track it down. Fricky now looking for someone to give her an opportunity. Oh, and there Grant looks like she's on sides. Should be a good run. See if Grant can put a charge on this. Yeah! And now when he falls, shot in goal. 12.49 remaining in the second half off the foot of number eight, Grace Grant. Pull him and falls within one. Menominee falls goal by number eight, Grace Grant. You see Everest two, Menominee falls one. So we have any falls still with some time here. 2-1. DC Everest leading. Nice run by Menominee Falls. They had the whole line moving together. Staying on side. Fricky able to get that one up and over the top. And Grace Grant able to run it down and score the goal. Falls looking to steal all the momentum now and pull this back into a tie, tie ball game, as they say. And the Schultz active on the far sideline, taking this throw in from Anomaly Falls. 
Shields up and over, and Lauren Parker puts a head on it, but it skims off and heads out of bounds. It'll be DC Everest throw in. Another nice touch up ahead to stay to Siebert. Down in the corner, Siebert trying to get some space, but the double team brings. Brings that to a stop, but Fricky able to bring that one track down. Back into the corner with Parker. Parker gets past her defender. Oh! Just a little too hot for Fricky. But now when he falls with the throw in from Wattenbach. Back with another throw in. Looking for people to make space, give her some run. Touches it to Grant, who pushes it back to Wattenbach. Wattenbach pops it up into the middle. Official caught another handball there. It'll be a many falls, free kick. Siebert looking to take this one. DC Everest lining up their wall. Siebert appears ready. Not going to ask for more space. She sends it across. Band. Not quite able to turn fast enough, and that gets popped out by the defenders. They get their feet in there. And Army Falls keeps possession. Send it out to D'Amato. Right idea there for Seward as she turns and tries to make that shot happen. Just a little off the mark. Substitutions with a goal kick upcoming. And for the Evergreens number 18, Kylie Cook. And Emily Falls keeps it pushed down into the DC Everest time. Sydney Bant centers that one nicely. Grant with, oh, just lost it, but here's D'Amato. Ball gets. Here's the last thing from the other guy. tracking down that loose ball. Sydney Bant again, bringing it down the center, looking for an open opportunity. Thank you, Gary. You're welcome. Lauren Parker, active in the corner, gets past the first defender. Tries well, to center that one to, to Sydney Bant. Ball boys tonight. And running up and down here, Meyer Cock, Bill Shabazz, and the mayor, Parker Wentworth. You're welcome. Kick up coming here for DC Everest. Closing in on eight minutes remaining. That one centered into Bant. Bant turns with Bant. Oh, off, off the post. What a shot from Bant. Saved by the post. Grant from outside. McKenna Campman. That one falls right into Campman's hands. And then how many falls will continue to attack. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the second half. Siebert turning, finding Grant inside. 
Grant not quite able to get there, but it will be a corner kick corner for the kick. Phoenix. Maya Damano. Mia Damano. So we are closing in here. Seven minutes remaining. Your score, DCRS 2, Menominee Falls 1. Corner kick coming off the foot of Mia D'Amato here in just a moment. You're watching Falls Cable Access Spectrum Channel 14. D'Amato with another beauty right into the middle. Oh, DC Everest able to get up top and get ahead on that. Tricky, tracking that one down, finds Bant along inside. Bant with a nice little touch and move. Oh, nice move by Bant to, to pass another defender. Oh, Siebert just misses. <clears throat> And might have had a chance if Seabird had been able to make good contact. Redding using her head. Layla Schultz letting that one run out of bounds. DC Everest. Number 26, Julia Hamar. Julia Hamar returning for DC Everest. We're closing down on five and a half minutes remaining. We'll see how aggressive DC Everest subbing is once we hit the five minute mark. As then the team in the lead decides to sub. The team in the lead decides to sub, then we will uh, be stopping the clock on any DC Everest subs. Sydney Bant up ahead to say to Siebert. Oh, Siebert. Just unable to, just unable to track it down. Kay Lockwood comes out to clear that one herself. Feel there's a little too much contact on that one down the corner. It'll be an Everest kick. About five yards outside of the box. Maybe a little further. Let's see what they can draw up and what Menominee Falls can answer with here. Menominee Falls sets up with three in the wall, it looks like. Model Grant and Schultz. Lockwood has her defense set. And here comes the kick. Lockwood with a big paw up there Maybe for the punch. Lockwood with the save. Gets that one forward. Let's see what it says. Let's reset. Pushes it down the field. Be a DC Everest throw, but. Check again, number 11, Kristen Rohde. Jerry. I got it, I got it, thank you. The clock stoppage on DC Everest sub. And on the throw we will be underway again. That one plays off Siebert's head and shoulders and she's unable to find it. Strong challenge there by Parker. DC Everest gets a call on that one. We DC Everest kick here with 325 remaining. And how many falls still down by one? Bit of a watch as it rolls on the line there. DC Everest plenty, plenty fine with. Yeah, for the team that's in the lead. Whoever's in the lead, they, yeah. So it wouldn't stop for the falls, but it stops for DC Everest, yeah. DC Everest taking their time on these throw-ins. I don't know why they wouldn't. 
That ball pops over the fence. There's even not many falls thrown. We need to get a new ball and we are back underway. Falls taking a little too long on these throw ins. Well, DC Everest is just fine with taking too long on these throw ins. We are now sub two minutes. And how many falls still trailing by one? We really need to get control of this and get it cleared and find something to do with the ball because they've spent way too much time just puttering it back and forth down on that sideline. Grant to Parker, Parker ahead to Siebert. We'll see if Siebert can turn on the Jets here. She does, and oh, defender tries stepping away. Here's Siebert with an opportunity. Oh, just a bit too wide. One minute, one minute left in the game. Marlon, the, the mic died. It's out of batteries, yeah, it's out of batteries. Yeah. Box out. <clears throat> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And this game is history. Final score DC Everest two, Menominee Falls one. I want to congratulate both teams on a well played game. Also a well ref game. I was gonna say you did you could talk right here. So I'm gonna use to remind you, check the schedule. Menominee Falls will be back home next Monday night. Also once again a a ref a referral for DJ's goalposts for visiting uh, DC Everest fans. The other one is De Marini's for pizza. De Marini's or DJ Goalhouse goalposts both come highly recommended. I want to thank Fall Cable Access for coming out today. Gentlemen, Robert and Marlon Hester with the call. You can catch it on your computer, get back to uh, Schofield and check it out, fallscableaccess.com, or I believe they might have changed it to FCAC, but the game will be on TV and you can watch that. Once again, it was a privilege and honor for announcing you tonight. We're going to roll the credits because this show is over. Bit of a microphone technical difficulty there, ladies and gentlemen, but our match has come to an end with your final score. DC Everest Evergreens 2, Menominee Falls Phoenix 1. Well fought match by both clubs. I'd like to thank you for joining us here tonight on Falls Cable Access, Spectrum Channel 14, or on YouTube you can find us. My name is Marlon Hestertune. And again, thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. Good night, everybody.